Good afternoon, everyone. Will Dupree here in the KXAN live studio. We have some breaking news that we want to bring you right now out of Williamson County. The sheriff's office told us that it's responding to a three vehicle crash that involves a Liberty Hill Independent School District school bus. I want to show you really quickly a map of where they say this wreck happened. I'm going to pull up this map really quickly so that you all can see on my other monitor here. Um, this is happening. This is a map of Liberty Hill. Again, the sheriff's office is responding to a crash involving a Liberty Hill ISD school bus. The wreck in question is happening on County Road 200. So you'll see State Highway 29 runs here through town east to west. County Road 200 goes off to the north here. And this is happening in the 1200 block. So it's right about in this area that you see where I'm circling right up here, 1200 County Road 200. If we zoom in a little bit more, you can see there's a um, what looks like a long driveway that goes right here. Um, some other homes and developments over there to the west. Again, we are finding out from the sheriff's office if we're looking at their tweets that about 36 minutes ago, Deputies are responding to a three vehicle collision in the 1200 block of County Road 200 involving a loaded school bus. No passengers, and we repeat, no passengers on the bus have been hurt. However, we um, called over to the sheriff's office to find out a little bit more information. The sheriff's office told us it's unsure how this crash happened. The students on the bus are from the Liberty Hill Independent School District. Obviously, it happened uh, after dismissal today while uh, students were being taken home. It's unclear how many students were on the bus. What we know, though, is, as you see, this tweet says it's a loaded school bus. However, no passengers on the bus have been hurt. Um, a second tweet here about 24 minutes ago. Deputies are on scene. Roadway is shut down due to the collision. Seek an alternative route. We're going to tell you where this um, road has been closed. Zoom out just a little bit here on the map. Again, State Highway 29 here in Liberty Hill goes east to west. County Road 200 goes off here to the north. And it happened at the 1200 block of County Road 200 in this area, not far from uh, what looks like Quarry Lake Estates Drive and um, also County Road 201. This area has been shut down according to the Sheriff's Office after a three vehicle collision involving a school bus. I'm gonna look for some more information right now, but, uh, and pull back up our Facebook live feed. If you're just joining us, a lot of people on social media alerted us to this crash, and we were seeing a lot of uh, comments and other things uh, being posted online about this. What we know right now is that three vehicles crashed into each other maybe about 40 minutes ago in Liberty Hill. Of course, this is around the time that school has been let out and then buses have been taking children home. A school bus and two other vehicles have been involved in some kind of crash there. It's unclear just yet what caused the crash. What we do know is that it involves um, students with Liberty Hill Independent School District. The bus, from what we're told, was loaded with children and students. And um, the good news, though, is that none of those children have been hurt. We have uh, reached out to the school district to try to get some kind of comment for, for you all to pass along at some point, but we don't have that just yet. The sheriff's office, though, did tell us that uh, deputies are responding. They are unsure again what caused this crash. They're investigating that. But we want to show you again on the map where this happened. I'm going to pull this up full screen so you all can see it. Pull out just a little bit. Here we see an overhead view of Liberty Hill State Highway 29 goes through town east to west. County Road 200 cuts off right there by that shell. If you've gone through Liberty Hill, you know that shell very well. A lot of people get gas there. That's the road that cuts up there to the north. And the wreck happened in the 1200 block of County Road 200, not too far from Quarry Lake Estates Drive, which you see up here to the north, and then uh, County Road 201 as well as Clark Place is close by there and Sarah's Lane. 
This area though of 1200 County Road 200 has been blocked as the Sheriff's Office says in this tweet right here. Deputies are on scene. You can see my uh, mouse moving over the message there. The roadway is closed due to the, due to the crash and uh, the sheriff is asking people to take a different route while his deputies are there investigating the situation. Again, about 45 minutes ago, the sheriff's office sent out this tweet, a traffic alert for everyone out there. This is happening at a pretty busy time of the day because school is let out and obviously many cars are going to be taking their children home at that time as well as the buses. But this was a loaded school bus involved with a three vehicle crash. No passengers on the bus have been hurt though as you see right there in that tweet from the sheriff and his office no children have been hurt in that crash but you do need to pay attention if you're driving in that area or know somebody who lives in that area may have gone to pick up a child and is taking someone home that area of county road 200 is closed due to a three vehicle crash involving a school bus from the liberty hill independent school district Again, we here at KXAN are reaching out to the district to try to find out some more information about what may have happened here. Deputies are on scene, so that is at least some good news that they are responding to the crash and tending to anybody that might have gotten hurt. In the other vehicles, what we know is that no one from the school bus has been hurt at this time. But we wanted to jump on here and let you all know about this because you may be headed home at this point or wondering why all this traffic is happening um, in that area. A lot of people on social media are commenting about that, asking why there's a little bit of a backup in that area or might have been in that place when it happened. One more time, if you're just joining us um, here on our live feed on KXAN.com or on Facebook or on our KXAN News app, we're talking about a three vehicle crash involving an uh, a Liberty Hill Independent School District school bus it happened about 45 minutes ago or so, and we'll show you one more time here on the map where this exactly happened. Let's go full screen. Off State Highway 29, if you're going north, so here's State Highway 29 in Liberty Hill. The Shell gas station is here. There's a road that cuts, cuts up north, uh, County Road 200. If you go up if several miles, the 1200 block of County Road 200, this is where the Sheriff's Office in Williamson County is saying that school bus and two other vehicles collided. Of course, this is around the time that school buses have been sent out from the district uh, with students to take them home. So unlike, uh, likely uh, there was already some traffic there because there is a development, some other houses in this area. Quarry Lake Estates Drive is up there to the north um, as well as uh, Quarry Park Cove and uh, County Road 201. I'll show you these tweets again from the sheriff's office. Maybe um, refresh his page to see if there's any kind of update quickly. No, just these two tweets. So about 46 minutes ago, the sheriff's office tweeted that deputies have gone to the scene of a three vehicle crash. Again, in the 1200 block of County Road 200, and this involved a loaded school bus. No passengers though, as you see right there in that line, no passengers on the bus have been hurt. That's some very good news there. Right above it, you'll see that another tweet was sent out about 30 minutes ago. Deputies have now arrived on the scene of that crash. The roadway is closed due to the crash and the sheriff is asking people to take a different route. Again, this is on County Road 200 in this area, close to Quarry Lake Estates Drive and County Road 201. The crash, though, happened on County Road 200. This is north of State Highway 29 in Liberty Hill. I'll pull out a little bit further so you guys can see. Um, we're unsure where the bus came from. We're working to get some information from the district at this time, but we do not have that available right now. If you're just joining us, a crash has closed down County Road 200, which you can see on the map right next to me right there. The place marker is kind of close to the area where that crash happened. Uh, three vehicles collided, including a school bus from the Liberty Hill ISD. School, some students were on the bus. We are unsure how many exactly, but what we do know, and the great news here, is that none of those children were hurt. 
So, of course, the sheriff's office is asking people to take a different route on County Road 200. That part of the road is closed at this time. Again, a very busy part of the day, but please pass along that information to anyone you might know in that area or if you're traveling in that area um, and someone might ask you kind of what's going on. This is exactly what's happening there. Is that a crash involving a school bus from Liberty Hill Independent School District? County Road 200, 1200 block, close to Quarry Lake Estates Drive there. Indian Oaks is not too far north from this location, as well as County Road 201. So this portion of the road is closed while deputies are investigating and likely working to clear that scene before they put people and uh, reopen that road there. We have more information going on our website. We're obviously wanting to check in with Liberty Hill ISD to see if there's any kind of update there about this crash. We will post that on our website on uh, KXAN.com as well as the KXAN News app and may jump back onto Facebook Live to bring any updates about this crash. But uh, again, what we know is that no students have been hurt after a school bus was involved with uh, a crash with two other vehicles in Liberty Hill. County Road 200 closed at this time. That's north of State Highway 29, if you're familiar with that area. Take a look at the map there. County Road 200, 1200 block there. Not too far from County Road 201 and Quarry Lake Estates Drive, just north of State Highway 29. We will keep monitoring the situation, pass along the updates that we can as soon as we get them on our website, kxan.com. But for now, we're going to end our live stream and provide some more updates there. Thanks for joining us.